uh, these are the two different approach of uh, repairing the one hernia. The uh, open surgery is the traditional approach of uh, doing through reinchifing in the groin, exactly where the hernia is, so on the right or on the left. Uh, on the opposite, the laparoscopic surgery is um, an approach, laparoscopic approach, mini invasive approach for the last 20, 30 years. We go through the belly button, we put a camera and we work from the inside of the abdominal cavity. Uh, so it's, it's called a laparoscopic, it's called a keyhole uh, approach uh, or mini invasive surgery. Yes, there are um, there are difficult different indication. It depends on the patient and depend it depends on the type of hernia. Um, so these days uh, there is uh, my advice would be to um, have the laparoscopic surgery as a preferable option unless there are contraindication. And uh, but anyway, this has to be discussed case by case. Okay, so let's start from the advantage from the open uh, uh, surgery. The open surgery is a very old uh, type of surgical repair of inguinal hernia. Um, since the introduction of mesh has been uh, um, even improved by the fact it's less painful. Uh, it's a quick procedure, it normally is done in about an hour. Uh, most of the time is done under general anesthetic, but can be done under spinal or other regional anesthesia. So this uh, is a, a, a good option for high risk patient. Um, the, 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 the open surgery can be also chosen from the patient if they don't want to take any extra risk from the laparoscopic or intra-abdominal surgery. Uh, of course, uh, for the laparoscopic or mini-invasive surgery, as the name says, uh, it's a mini-invasive, so uh, it supposedly is, there is less pain post-operatively. Uh, the recovery is more uh, um, it's faster, it's quicker, so the return to normal activity is faster. But the advantage are that uh, the, the type of mesh uh, we use is uh, wider and uh, it goes in an area where uh, there is less risk of complication from the mesh, and also the covers the inguinal as well as the femoral canal. So this is important, especially in female patients, where we can prevent, while we're repairing the inguinal hernia, we can prevent the femoral hernia. And this is actually an indication from NICE uh, guidelines uh, saying that for female patients, we should prefer the laparoscopic versus the open repair. The other advantage is essentially that there is a less recurrence of the hernia, so the risk for the hernia to come back in long term. And also, as I said, it's less painful, but there is also less risk to uh, essentially touch the nerve in the groin, which sometimes, especially in open surgery, can cause a chronic nerve pain, which is a, can last for several months. Um, in, in my practice, I always uh, discuss this with the patient. They need to be aware of both options, uh, to have open or uh, um, laparoscopic surgical repair. It depends on the patient. It depends on the, the fact that, for example, if they had the previous surgery, uh, there is a risk of uh, multiple uh, adhesions, or scar tissue inside the abdomen. Maybe the laparoscopic surgery is not a good option. It might be because the patient is high risk from an aesthetic point of view. Therefore, we're looking at less minimizing the operating time than aesthetic time. And that would be the case to do an open repair with uh, um, regional anesthesia. So it's a very specific, it has to be discussed in clinic. Well, in the perspective of uh, self-funding this operation, I suspect that the laparoscopic hernia repair is probably more expensive. And, uh, as I said, the, 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 the difference is very uh, relatively small. 
it depends on what the patient is aiming to achieve from the repair. So we can fix the hernia in open as well as laparoscopically. I think that in in a young path, in a young patient who does a lot of lifting sport activity, my push would be to do a laparoscopic hernia repair because I think this can offer a, be a better advantages in long term. But as I say, the hernia is a well fixed on, on in both uh, with both techniques.